I'm here with Felipe and Julia from Jay Bouchon and we're in the middle of Maule. And can you tell us what vine this big fat vine is? <laughs> what plant is this? Oh, this is uh, one of the oldest uh, varieties that you can find in Chile. It's called Pais. And what is, what is Pais for someone that's never had Pais before? Pais is the variety that the Spanish brought from the colony for religious purposes. So that's why it's very old and they arrived in the Maule region at that time. Super. And so how old would this one be, for example? This must be uh, more than a hundred years old. And what happens to a vine when it's old? Uh, well, you know, vines is like people. Uh, when it's old, they start to, to, to get the best and to give you more concentrated and balanced grapes. So you, you maybe can arrive to make more concentrated and balanced wine. And so what does the pais taste like, your old wine pais? The pais is uh, it's very rustic, it's, um, it's very funky, it's not big color, it's, uh, but the tannins are sharp, mm -hmm. so it gives a lot of uh, energy to, to the wine if it's in a blend or if it's 100% uh, uh, pais. Uh, and um, you've got another, so these are all your pais vines here, old vines in this form, but you've also got a pais salvaje. Do you want to show us your país salvaje? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened here? So, so here we have the creek coming uh, through the natural forest down to the valley. And uh, in between these uh, native trees, uh, we have the país uh, vines growing up to the trees in a natural way. So in the, in the spring, you will on summer you will find the bunches hanging out over all these uh, trees in a complete natural way. And so when it, so this was the first year that you vinified this, yes. these vines, yes. which is difficult to see in the winter, but they're here. And so what is the difference between the, the quality of the grapes or the uh, characteristics that you find from pais that grows wild in the trees to yeah. Old vines here on the flat. Well, uh, to vinify these grapes, it, it was all new for all of us. So at the beginning, we think, well, let's try and, and, and we will see. Uh, and then we realized that uh, we get very good quality, very good color, uh, very fine aromas. Um, and we decided to, to make the wine in a more traditional way. And I think that you can make very good wine in, in that way, in a small production, of course. So uh, finally, uh, we realized right now that the wine was pretty good, uh, with very good and fine aroma. Super. And so how do you think this place got here? Well, in, in the natural way, you have uh, birds, you have uh, birds bringing seeds to here. Here is the creek, so you have some water during, only during the spring. In the summer it's dry, but during the spring. So the mix between the soil, the water and the seeds at the end, you can get some Great. plants. Lovely. Uh, Fantastic. Thank you very much. What a beautiful day. Yeah. It's called País Salvaje. País Salvaje. Good <laughs> job.